G'day there, Brad Perry here from Brad Sound Company. We're in Darwin in the north of Australia. At the moment, we're in the Philadelphia Indonesian United Church. And one of our community projects, we look after the audio here, we supply the majority of the equipment, we run sound here on the Sunday services, and whenever possible, we'll try and run sound for the rehearsals. Now, we did a little video here around a year or so ago, giving you a tour of the church. Done a few upgrades since then. Uh, if you look over here, two weeks ago, you would have seen masses of cables, insert cables, multi cores, you would have seen rows of graphic equalizers and compressors. Now all you see is a nice clean little box. We've uh, got a brand new digital console. So let's have a look at the console and then we'll take the tour from there. Okay, here we have a Soundcar SI Expression. Quite a nice little uh, digital mixer. Got many features, very professional features that are very useful for us. Uh, we won't give you a full technical rundown of this. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube you can look at to do this. But uh, we'll just show you some of the things quickly. We want to set a mix. Uh, for example, mix one. All the faders change to yellow. We can adjust any of the microphones, any of the instruments to send to the monitors. We go to monitor two, settings for monitor two, monitor three mix, monitor four, quite simple. And back to your normal, your normal mix. We're also doing subgroups. Here we have green tells us we're into subgroups which is post fade over here we have the, the pastors microphones we go to group two we have the song leader and some of the singers we go to group three we have the majority of the singers in the group three and we go to group four just a single ambience microphone we use uh, to send to the uh, video feed. Effects. We can bring whatever we want onto the effects. This is effects one. So we have the song leader, keyboard singer, and one of the guys up the front with the condenser. We'll be on effects one, we go to effects two, and the majority of the singers there, as you see, have been sent to effects two. Quite a nice mixer. But I think we'll continue the tour now and have a look at some of the other equipment. As part of our improvements in recent weeks, we're now setting all the audio for the video camera from the matrix out in the mixer to give it a live feel to the audio we've used to Ambience microphones, these are Audix ADX51 condensers, very, very sensitive microphones. They help pick up the congregation when they clap along and it really adds to the live feel of, of the videos. Okay, we'll have a look at some of the other microphones we've got set up in this church. For the pastor for Holy Communion, we set this up on the author table. This is the Audio Technica Pro 33, very nice little condenser. For the sermons, the most important part, I guess, of any service, you need very, very clear spoken word. And for this, we have the beautiful clock audio condenser, very, very sensitive, very, very clear natural sound. This is an Indonesian church, so we'll have the sermons generally in Indonesian, and we have an English translator. SM57, very, very good. The spoken word. For the song leader, she likes to move around a bit, or he likes to move around a bit. SM58 by Shure, wireless microphone. And now we're going to have a look what the singers use. Now the church services here are all about song all about music. Indonesians love their songs 
and as you can see we've got a lot of microphones set up. Four mics here for the uh, general choir. Now we're using Shure Better 58s. We use these microphones primarily for their super cardioid pattern. They reject all the sound from the side, most of the sound from the rear, and give, give us a very clear sound. We can hear each singer individually very clearly. Now they do have a choice of microphones. We're going to have a look at some of the other microphones they can use. Okay, we're going to have a look at a few more of the microphones we've got set up. Many of the singers, particularly the ladies, like the AKG LEC. Very nice little condenser. My favourite, beautiful microphone, Shure KSM9. It can be set as a cardioid or super cardioid pattern. Very, very smooth, lovely microphone. The industry standard, Shure SM58, we've got quite a few of these around. And for guitars, some guitars we can use a DI box, otherwise we can use this little condenser, another Audix ADX51, beautiful condenser, excellent for acoustic guitar. Now we'll have a look at our monitoring system. We run four monitor mixers from the console. Over here, we have mix one for the song leader. Then we move to mix two for singers one and two. Mix three for singers three and four. And over here for the keyboard player. Now we're going to have a look at the setup in front of house. Okay, now we'll have a look at our front of house loudspeakers. Slightly unusual, I guess, for a small church where we have four loudspeakers across the front. There's a pretty good reason for this. Up here, we have PB's Sanctuary Series 226. Very nice little loudspeakers. Now, the purpose of these speakers is for the pastor or the song leader or anybody in the centre of the stage who's addressing the congregation. It's quite important that the people talking to the congregation, their voice would come from their direction, not from the sides. So we use these loudspeakers primarily for the pastor and the song leader. They're very effective. Our main speakers over here, PV115. As you can see, they've been laid on their side. Unfortunately, the high frequency horns on these loudspeakers are rotatable. We turn the horns 90 degrees and we still get our full dispersion across the audience. Now, one of the advantages of having a system like this is we can pan singers to the left, we can pan singers to the centre here, and each side of the church then gets its own stereo mix. Left and right on this side of the church, left and right on that side of the church. And it's worked out to be very, very effective. We get beautiful singers here, excellent musicians, and it's a wonderful service here on the Sunday morning. So Brad Perry signing out. Bye for now.